time for EJ's Mino Sound of the Night. Presented by no one. We're at a bar uh, with a friend of mine. We walk into the car, and some guy's trying to be tough, had too much to drink, mm -hmm. follows me two blocks, talk about how tough he is. Mm -hmm. So you ignore him, you ignore him. But he's getting closer. Before I know it, he's right behind me, and he challenges me to a fight. And I said, listen, I can't fight you. He says, I'm going to see how tough you are. And he walks up to me, puts his fist up, and I hit him. <laughs> One of the uh, Chucksters' many visits um, <laughs> to David Letterman, and how about this one, Shaq? That was a better. That was a better time for Mr. Letterman. Look at this. Yeah. You finally got somebody entertaining on his show. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That is That's crazy. Oh, that, that is crazy. That's so. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so sorry, Mr. Thanks. <laughs> wow. And what an honor it is yeah. for us here on Inside to have David oh, Lovell joining you, us here inside Studio I came Studio my Jet. suit coat is yeah. what I'm doing here. <laughs> what did you say when you saw that old clip of you and the Chuckster? Well, he looks dangerous. He, he looks like trouble up and down. Yeah. And, and I just looked like uh, the youth minister at the church. <laughs> I think it was the mustache Chuck had then. Oh, oh my that God, that was scary. Something about your countenance was frightening. <laughs> but the, I didn't know this was Studio J. Yes. Yeah, this yeah. Is, whoa. Named after Ernie. No, it's not. Thompson. No. Oh, it's thrilling. Jim Reeves, the late Jim Reeves, who was a great uh, video guy for us. It's named for him. Oh, well, that's, um, that's lovely. So a guy who actually put in time in this building. Yeah, actually, yeah, it worked uh, tirelessly that, and make the show great. look as as good as it does on, on some nights. And, and the other thing I'm thrilled about is I think I heard one of you invoke the phrase mofo. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, around the house, I don't get to use that much. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, you worked with us on... Uh, on All-Star Weekend, you mm -hmm. and Reggie Miller as uh, oh, doing was one of fun. our opens. Reggie yeah. Miller, what a sweet guy. Uh, it was a real thrill for me. And, and the production crew that uh, I worked with or worked with me or vice versa, they did all the work. They were tremendous. Yeah, Just, so uh, and everybody here, uh, when I was at CBS, everybody was, it was like a minimum security prison. <laughs> uh, and nobody was guilty and everybody wanted to go home. Here, everyone is, is happy and yeah. carefree. And, and they say they leave the middle of the night. You guys will be here till the sun comes up and everybody will be happy and laughing. Oh, it's, it's, what it's is a, going it's on? Fun. <laughs> hey, I, but I wondered when I saw you, um, wondering as, a, as an Indianapolis-born kid, Mm-hmm. Were you the prototype like everybody in Indiana grows up with a hoop in the backyard well, always playing? Yes, that's exactly right. And I'm concerned that over the years, that legend, the myth of that has been usurped. Uh, and I'm pointing the finger at my good friends, the Indiana Pacers, who, by the way, Chuck has now picked to go all the way this year. <laughs> <laughs> and he's saying it's Golden State. Is that Dad, really you can ask the question. No, no, Ernie, huh? excuse me. Yes. I'm, I'm Unsullied. Unsullied by sponsorship since 1989. 1989. Thank you, Ernie. <laughs> you almost broke yeah. No, okay. I have to say he, that. He did yeah. everything in his power to get oh, me to pick the Pacers to win the championship today, Jack. No, and he said the key to it was, and this is a quote, something about uh, LeBron being old. Uh, cause that's, yeah. I only said it because he is. Yeah. yeah, but it looks like it's going to be the Pacers year, and I couldn't be happier. But every city he goes to. He says that's the team is going to win, and then he leaves the city. And no, says I don't. I don't believe that. Oh I, yes, I, yeah, I, I believe it. He was believe being it. quite honest with me, Mr. Okay. Letterman. So yeah. is is this what retirement is like for you? Oh, know. this this is, are you kidding me? First of all, I'm out of the house. <laughs> that's great, and I just love being on TV. <laughs> so, this is this is the the jewel in the crown, my friend. Uh, hey, come on back. <laughs> you know well, what I you. what I did not realize is that for the past two years you have been in cahoots or you have been working alongside the NBA trying to improve this. Oh, that, I'm glad you brought that up. And by the way, you don't hear the word cahoots much. <laughs> no, you but, don't. <laughs> um, yes. And it's no secret that uh, Adam Silver came to me a couple of years ago and he knew I'm from Indiana and knew I played some high school uh, ball. <laughs> and he said, Dave, we want you to head up uh, a focus group. 
He said, we want to keep the ball rolling, to employ a little uh, basketball term there. Uh, is that a basketball term? <laughs> uh, so anyway, we're looking at ways to improve the product, to improve the product. Do you have any ideas of what that's going to look like so far? Yeah, we have. Now, uh, this is a list of things. Now, some of these have uh, are on the fast track. Some of these will go right to next season. Others are still being developed. So this is not a complete list, and I would hate it if anybody held us to this. Some of these things are in flux. It's dynamic. Does everybody understand? I got yes. it. Okay. We all know. Are you ready to go? Yes. And, and I'm hoping this will generate some uh, serious conversation. Okay. Let's sure. Do it. Is this anything like the top ten list? Uh, why do you say that? <laughs> it was a baby. It right? used to be a thing. Let him get to his improvements I'm just asking, of the game. Okay. Would it be bad if it was? No, I'm just asking. Because <laughs> I, like, I, I used to enjoy the top ten list. Oh, you did, did Yes, I did. <laughs> this is nothing like the top ten list. <laughs> this, is, this is solid. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, it, it was, uh, as you know, I'm the chairman of the uh, c competition committee. And uh, all of these things have been reviewed. We sent a carbon copy of what I'm looking at here, or CC'd rather. Uh, to Adam Silver, and he's looking them over now. Uh, the first category is the team and the players, and I think we'll all agree that now is the time you have to strike while the iron is hot, <laughs> and, it, oh. and if we don't do it now, somebody's going to do it. Uh, each team, players consist of equal number men and women. Game time mandatory for all players and less injured. What do you think? Huh? I'm not, I'm not mad at Caitlin Clark playing. Yeah. yeah. Tell you that much. Well, so you divide the team up. Okay. Everybody gets to play. Okay. All right. We're going we're gonna to go with that. That's, that's a good one. Thumbs up. You I like it? I do. As a, I as do. a former Thumbs player. Up. Shaq? Every team has men and women. What did I just say? <laughs> equal, <laughs> equal number. Every, yeah. each team. Yeah. Ask them about the San Antonio team. What about oh. the San Antonio Tons? <laughs> no, 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 no. We've got to move on here, Shaq. What, we've got to, what is he talking about? <laughs> he, he, he's right in the midst of some great ideas. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ask him about uh, okay, the San Antonio on, team. We, we <laughs> are constantly looking for ways to make the game more interesting. And it's an intellectual sport. You know that. Well, look at these guys. Um, scoring. <laughs> Any missed shot inside the three-point line deduct two points from the shooting team score. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. sir. I like because that. we're just waiting for that two-point shot to go away. No, see, we? I would like it to be any missed three-point shot you deduct to. I like that idea, too. All right, can you come to a meeting? <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> I'm actually busy. We can join you by Zoom. Okay. Uh, okay, so now the three-point. He brings up the three-point line. Uh, nobody shoots anything but three-pointers. <laughs> um, so you have the three-point line. You right. leave that where it is. You invoke something I like to call the five-point line. You know okay, mm -hmm. okay. And the, the center line? From midcourt is ten. Ten points. All right, who's got a problem with that? We kind of play that way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but we haven't now changed we're, the rule we're yet. We're assigning true value. Okay. Gotcha. But just imagine the lines around every arena in North America waiting to get in to see this. <laughs> okay. I'm more on board with the first one than the second and the third. Go ahead. No one cares, Ernie. I know. Um, why didn't you come out with a tie? He stole my tie. Early. Mofo. <laughs> <laughs> that mofo did steal yeah, my tie. You can't yeah. say that. That mofo stole it. All right. <laughs> now, here's something that Adam Silver asked us to spend quite a lot of time on. Fouls. Fouls. Listen to me. Player committing a foul is benched. <laughs> Depending on foul, for two, three, or five minutes. Team plays shorthanded for the duration. That's like, like hockey. It's yeah. exactly like hockey. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I, I like the power play in hockey. Yeah. Could yes. you imagine playing five on four in the NBA? Yeah, what's the minutes? matter with that? That would be funny. Well, I mean, that would be funny. But that's from hockey. Okay, that would <laughs> well, be we, hilarious. We, were, we weren't asked to design comedic moments for the game. <laughs> I, would, I would weigh in on that, but nobody cares. Mm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, and by the way, no substitution if a player fouls out. Well, offending team uh, plays shorthand. Shaq, Shaq likes that one. No foul out rule. Hack a Shaq. No, you do foul out. Oh, you do foul yeah, out. And then you're, you're not replaced. Oh, you're, you're not replaced. Not, you're not oh, that is even funnier. Than, <laughs> it's even more comedic. I love that. <laughs> I'm trying to take this seriously. Okay, now let's get to the court. I recently attended a game in Indianapolis to see the Spurs and the Pacers. And I was lucky enough to sit under one basket. And it was great uh, for two quarters. 
Mm. For the other two quarters, it wasn't that great. So this is what they've come up with. Uh, the team uh, on offense, this is the way we used to play in high school, court ball, uh, playground ball. Team on offense retains possession until they don't score. Play resumes at opposite end. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Make it take. Make it take. Make it take. That's right. Make it take it. That's what we do. That make you play defense. Yeah. Yes. That make you play. You know defense. what they should implement that in the All Star game? Yep. Are they still yeah. going to have the All Star game? Did you hear anything about that? I, I wouldn't be surprised if you're consulted about how to improve it. Uh, oh, and the, by the way, here's the new court. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Adam Silver says we need to sell more courtside tickets. So here's the solution. You, you play the first quarter up there, then you rotate it clockwise. Second quarter goes there. But look at the increase. Look at the number of fans who get the courtside seats. Did you do that freehand? Is that, is that your art? That's all computer stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's rendition? Yeah, it's pretty good. What do you so, think? So what's Adam Silver's uh, reaction been? Oh, he loves it. He he's all in. Uh, and then finally, or no, we're not we're not there yet. Ooh, wishful thinking. <laughs> this one is. They said, well, what can we do at the rim? Hmm. The rim. So here we go. First quarter stays at ten. Feet you get two points. <laughs> Second quarter goes to eleven feet. You get uh, three points. Third quarter goes to twelve feet. You get four points. Fourth quarter, thirteen feet. You get uh, five points. What it's do you mean? An awful lot of math in this system. I, I think you'll get. I think you'll get accustomed to it. <laughs> the half, somebody hits a half-court shot in the fourth quarter. Yeah, on a 13-foot. Uh, yeah, it's got to be 14 points for one shot. <laughs> but you see the way I look at it. We are making money. We are printing our own money with this, and salaries are not going away, gentlemen. They definitely hope. They are definitely. They're definitely not going away. See, so he's he's all in. Yeah. All right, and now finally, let me know when the Uber's here. <laughs> Uh, this is for the kids. So we all know. You get, the kids, you know <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Uh, fourth quarter, all foul shots attempted by the team mascot. I oh. go with Rocky winning that one in Denver. <laughs> there you go. What do you think, guys? And by the way, you're welcome. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Everything you said, I agree. There you go. This is exactly would, what I'm talking about. I mean, that's for the kids. Yeah. That'll yeah. be for the kids. My kids would enjoy that. So I'd be happy to help cover the uh, the finals. We'll, we'll, we'll be in the West, the Western Conference Finals this year. So you, you have an open invitation. By okay. the way, you know one of our traditions here on the show um, is when Chuck makes a guarantee. I heard about this. Yeah. This is so exciting. We do, we like to, we like to, let's see. Oh. We can just drop things out of the ceiling on him. So but sometimes. Before this happens, yeah. let, let me say one thing. I was watching last week and I got very excited because uh, Shaquille and Chuck were very close to engaging in a slap fight. <laughs> uh, and I was sitting at home praying to God it would happen. Do you remember that? Why? So was I. Yeah. We were both at you want to see Shaquille get beat well, up? No, I just thought, May well, 19th. here's something you don't see much May 19th. on TV. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> we both were praying at the same time, Dave. Yeah, May okay. 19th. Let's, we're going to drive. Uh, tonight could be hammers. Let's take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Wait, wait, you ain't got to make a guarantee. A little bit of everything in that load. Uh, that hurt actually. I got, it. <laughs> got some of the rubber duckies. He didn't even make it with Dixie. Uh, beach balls. Donuts. Oh, nice to somebody oh, else's man. show. Oh. Hey, I'm messing up my diet coke, oh, man. Oh, oh, I didn't get any. Oh, yeah. That kind of hard, hard didn't it? Down also. Uh, rubber duckies. Do we got any shack bucks in here? Dave, thanks, man. It's oh, a pleasure. Yeah, Thank you so no, much, man. The pleasure is all mine. No, Thank you very good. much. You, it's it's oh, great man. to be here with this institution. Thank Kenny, thank you very respect, much. Respect, legend. Chuck Charles, thank yes. you so much. Come that is a wrap for Inside, presented time. by Kia. And don't be surprised if one of these days you see a Charles Barkley story on David Letterman's show. Mm -hmm. Yes, you just never know. Good night from Atlanta. Thank you very much. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Chuck always gives that little hop. Oh, there are a couple of people that I heard.